So I'm here with Ken the contractor. And uh, Ken, maybe you can tell me a bit about what you're doing here today. Okay, we're getting ready to, uh, uh, we have to cut part of the roof out to allow for our new header height. So what we've done here right now is we just put in some temporary support. And Mike's just up in the next floor of the attic suite here. And he's going to bring in a little bit more temporary support. Okay. And essentially what we're doing is we're cutting out your old bird's mouth from the roof, uh, the, from the rafters. Okay. And since our new header has to be much taller to absorb the span, we essentially got to cut this top plate out, part of the roof out, to give us the, uh, the ability to slip in our new header up over our cripple studs here. So right now we're just getting ready to temporarily uh, with, the, with the, uh, the temporary support, we're starting to cut away our old top plates, and then eventually this whole part of the wall will come out. Wow, okay, so it looks like right now that the header that's, uh, or the top plate is what, two two by fours. What are you replacing it with in terms of a header? Well, the uh, engineer called for two two by tens to span this, this uh, area, but we have run three two by tens laminated with two half inch OSB, laminated screw throughout. Wow, that's... So it's so much bigger, much heavier but it will be flush with the walls and will give a much nicer finish and it's overkill for uh, strength. That's fantastic. So if I look at it, there's a two by six right beside you and yeah. then there's another two by six right here beside me. Is that the length of the window that you're, you're spanning? That is our new rough open. Okay, Yeah. perfect. And now all the exterior walls are going to two by six, which is also much stronger. Oh wow, that's great. And how long do these temporary supports stay up? Just until you put the header? Until the header's in, we're good to go. Wow, that seems like a, a lot of work just for a, yeah, yeah. a half so day job. We'll, yes, actually what we'll do then is we'll, we'll start removing them one at a time. And then these are the floor joists which are undersized, which the previous attic suite was, it was undersized. It should have been a suite up there. So we will be starting on this area here and inserting our new 2x10 floor joists one by one over our new beam, our center beam there and resting on earthquake hangers on this ledger here. That's fantastic. All right, thanks, Ken. No problem.